Okay, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of Alan Wake. Um, it's been a number of weeks since I last played. Um, I shouldn't have carried on playing when I did in the last game, um, so apologies about that. I had some family bereavement news and decided that I was near a checkpoint or something, so obviously I needed to come keep playing. Um, but looking back on it in editing, I wish I hadn't, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, catch up on the last episode if you need to remind yourself. I did need to, so I did. Um, but yeah, we're trying to get to this farm, aren't we? Which is owned by the those two guys in the care home. Can't really remember why I need to get there, but we just do. So yeah, uh, like the video if you enjoy the series, that would be awesome of you. Um, I am really grateful of all your engagement and support on the channel. It's really awesome. Uh, it makes this even more fun than it already was. Um, so yeah, subscribe if you're new as well. That would be great. Used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Oh, that's cool. Ow! Run! It's coming! There's too many of them! God damn! Glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Johnson. Shut up, shoot. <laughs> oh, shit. Ow! We have to fight them off! I can set off four of the fireworks from here and help you out! Ow. I'm trying to... Am I okay? Oh, this place is stopped! Oh, I'm rusty. Hold on! I'll try to get the stage lights on! Quite a flat. Yes! Here we go! <laughs> Barry Wheeler to the rescue! No! Damn it! Oh, shit. Sorry, so rusty. Okay, there we go. I'm back. I'm nearly dead, but I'm back.
Oh, true. Sorry. I that. Whoa. <laughs> that was awesome! Okay. Right falls. Rock and roll. Am I still recording? I think I am. Yes. Capital of America. Whew. Right, let's get my loot back. Cause that was loot intensive. Hey, Al! This way to the farm. Okay. Uh. Right, onwards to the farm. Turn the game up a little bit. I'm glad I've got Al. Al makes things a bit nicer. I see you. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's ah. good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, Why is that's that been bad? my biggest worry all this time. Mm -hmm. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Okay, no problem. It'll be in here somewhere. I need to get up there. There we go. God, it's been too long since I've been on this game. Whoa. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. <laughs> it makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But I'm that's okay. Al. I'm out. I can just take him Barry. for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, I think I see what you did there as well. You there want we me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? <laughs> Thought so. <laughs> Let's get back down. No secrets in here, is there? No. Okay. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing out! Whoa. They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? I love all the Viking crap, so it's not wasted on me. Done okay for themselves, so how come I never heard of these guys before? That's and cool. this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. Sleep. We all spend oh, a third of our nice dreams. Oh no, I've got two things going now. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? In Night Springs. Tonight's episode. The Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Oh, the ultimate hey, nightmare for the Brits. Listen, well, they were very used to it. Oh, me. Oh, wow. Who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But, wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... Isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something... something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us, it's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? 
God, that's a bit grim, isn't it? Okay. Let's finish off exploring. I thought I saw a coffee flask over here. Some flashy things over here. It's gearing me up for something, isn't it? Hunting rifle ammo. Well, I haven't got a hunting rifle. Give me a hunting rifle? If you're going to give me the ammo. Okay. Stay here, Barry. I'll check the coast. The coast looks pretty. Oh. Manuscript. It's been a while. F5. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the head east ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. Oh no. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Oh god, so have they been kind of poisoning themselves with the water from the lake? The Viking boat time? looked imposing. Almost like a battering ram. It's so cool. Oh, battering ram. I see what I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But this is so cool that they've got this stuff here. Oh, that'll be the button. Look at this. The old gods of Asgard, the 75 Ragnarok Tor, be awed by celestial wrath and fury. Respect. Anything hidden? No. Okay, let's go press the switch. Save batteries here. Let's not be silly. Barry? Barry? Oh no, he's one of these. Wasted some batteries there. Okay. Barry? I think we can make it through here, Al! I don't like how these are precariously dangling. Okay. That car's gonna 
She can come towards me, isn't it? Okay. Safety. Safety, safety. There's Barry. How did you get around there unscathed? I say it's all good. I mean, it's debatable. Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through what? this alive, I'm going to start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release yep. a new single. Great ideas. Good luck cool. with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm going to take a closer look at this stuff. You want me to find us a way out of here? The door was barred from the other side. Yeah. I'd have to find another way. This will do. Be careful, Al. Yeah, I'm fully expecting jump scares to come here. Feeding me more ammo for us to come. I see. Open, okay? Wow. These things just never end. Where's the next one? Behind there? What do you reckon? Looks like I can hear something. Duty torch. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't going to say anything. <laughs> I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Sure thing, Pat. Okay. Okay, okay, we'll carry on. Checkpoint reached. Let's see, I can just go this way. Oh, batteries. Oh, full batteries. Let's go. I could see the building that had to be the Andersons on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. They had the goods. Yes, I think they've got pages, I think. Yum, 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 yum. 
Mm, let me check. There's no secret. Can I open that gate? No. Okay. But you just know there's going to be a big fucking scrap. You've got to be kidding. Oh no. We just knew it, didn't we? Oh, I did it. That was easy. I keep thinking the right mouse is to zoom, like to aim, but it's not. Alright, great fact. But how about you get fucked? You cannot dodge that. God damn it, you can't dodge that. Ooh. Let's go back for whatever was in here. I'm sure I've got space now. Okay. Thank God I got that torch, right? That made light work of that tractor. Well, let's just go to Valhalla, shall we? This is so cool. I loved Assassin's Creed Valhalla as well. Can I...? Oh. Whoops. Yeah, so I'm big into the Viking stuff. Anything of note here? No. Ah, uh, Al. I had to find a key to get Barry out. Yeah, it's me. Hang on. I'll try to find a key to get the door open. God damn. Yoink. Easy. Watch the hold up. Come on, this place is all dusty. You know I got my allergies. Here you go. Come on. Hey, let's go, man. Please don't spawn more enemies. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Looks pretty heavy. Are you shitting me? You can't climb over that. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, let's go. Let's hey, go. Let's go. I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This Don't jinx it. Crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Okay. Come on, Basil. Mind your way. Right. Why are we swapping sides now? Come on, one more game. Let's do this thing. Chainsaw. Noted. Coffee flasks. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. It says fuse box is upstairs, but let's just take in this home. No, oh, why are you going straight to the shitter? Okay. You know, this place looks kind of oh. lived in. Old guards. The Andersons were in the booby edge. No, the true. Ooh. Does that mean secret supplies? Okay, guitar. That breathing usually means secret supplies. There's a transcript there, but let's not rush. Okay, kitchen. No, oh, what's that? Pick up coffee. Alright, maybe that 
That thing is upstairs. Wow, look at that place. It's so the cool. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Okay. That's fine. Come on, Al. Let's get the lights on, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm exploring. Transcript. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Yeah, it's not clear, is it, what actually did happen. Here it is. Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the answer. It's in the living room. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's her face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. Find the lady of the light. I've gone mad with something. Give it a little thump. I want to hear... You need the witch's cabin key. Hmm. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, no. I mean drunk. Come on, no. Barry, this is... Yeah, what the hell? Oh, really? Okay. They used water from the bloody dirty lake. Oh, we're gonna trip balls, aren't we? We're gonna have a dream. I'm sorry. That's the writing. No, seriously, because I, I know we don't get along, but we're gonna find her, right? And even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, God damn it! Correct. <laughs> if I just Tell wanted them. to, I could write ten books a year, mm -hmm. and and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, cause I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's going to be okay. We're going to make it okay. Good. It's quite a catchy song. I'm the lady of the night. This is where we're going to have our dream. Of that night. Yes, and it was an out-of-body experience. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Look. We're watching Alan. Alice, I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. I'm very slow. It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the Where night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. Oh. I remember being surprised Alice? to see the cabin Alice. dark. Yeah, Alice she would never turn, turn the lights off. Because she had a phobia of the dark. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater sinking into the darkness. Beyond this lost memory, there was nothing. 
I had to follow the footsteps of my past self to find out what had happened that night. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. So we don't remember this bit. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! <laughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Who Alice? are you, you You'll evil woman? the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice? She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still <laughs> hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. Oh. You can write her back. The story will come true. And all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Jeez. Yes. All right. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. <laughs> Me? Oh, she saw our, our dream state. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Mm. I thought I was saving Alice. Just making her more powerful. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. And did he take the manuscript? Who the fuck is in? I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Oh, here she comes. spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. Mm. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I'm lucky to be alive. It's 
my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your oh, fault, no. and you're gonna pay for it. Oh, shit. Oh, what an end to the chapter there. What's that, chapter three? End of episode four. I think there's six in total. Damn, okay. A lot to unpack there. It's made it a bit clearer now why we don't remember anything since diving into waking up in the car. Interesting. I can't quite remember who Zane is if he's come up before. Um, but okay, I'm... Still a lot of questions, but that answers some, so hopefully that helps with a bit of clarity for you as well. I'll leave it there for this episode, um, and then yeah, in the next episode you'll see the recap before we start episode 5, so you'll be able to be all refreshed. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, like the video, say hello in the comments, it'd be great to, to chat with you, um, and yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thanks a lot, have a nice day.